somebody asked me a question that if we can into introduce temperature operating temperature changes to a study or investigate the upheaval buckling so you can see i have created this kind of animation for that and this is just only based on the temperature changes during the operation of the pipeline so let's see what i have done here i will just quickly go through it this was just to answer the question so i have not spent too much time i have created a pipeline which is 3.5 kilometers long and i have created an imperfection again this all is coming from that paper which was sent to me by the person so uh, and again these are all arbitrary i have simply applied that case to only include the effect of temperatures how i created this was i created it as a 2d deformable wire and then i created the whole profile with the imperfection here okay then i defined the material properties again that was also given to me uh, in that paper but i have used only the steel properties although in that paper it was having i think concrete coating and other other things as well so i have defined the density which you don't need in this case i have defined the elastic properties again based on that material data Exp thermal expansion coefficient is there because that's the main cause of your uh, axial force in longitudinal force in the pipeline and then i have defined the plastic part of the curve which is again an ideal plastic material for this case and again this is coming from the paper itself then you have to create sections so for creating solid section you can create it using create button and then you select beam because we have beam elements here as a pipe so and i will select beam and then i continue when you press continue here you will get this kind of thing and here you have to define the profile of your pipe in this case i have selected pipe and i have give provided the inner radius and the thickness of the pipe and again you know d over t is greater than 20 you assume it to be a thin wall pipe so i have assumed it to be a thin wall pipe in this case material properties i already told you what i have so i have selected those here i don't save it and then i assign it using a sign option and you can see i have assigned it to the whole pipe so everything is assigned to this pipe so now my pipe is a has dimensions or cross section of what i have given in the previous case and all the material properties are already defined to you then i instance the part i bring it here and then i go to the step and i define a step you can use both the static and rakes i tried both and it works very well so you can try both but since it was the question was about rakes step so i have to use only rakes step here and in this case i am not really constraining anything although you can use uh, a degree of freedom to constrain the maximum motion so in this case the temperature will keep on increasing as the solver keeps on going but you can change that i haven't changed anything here as well i just use default and it will stop after 100 increments so you can keep you can stop it after 10 increments as well if you know that temperature will be 80 degrees or whatever which i have used here after a certain amount of time okay so then there are no interactions here since it's only one pipe in your case you can have soil interaction that was defined in that paper i haven't defined that it was because i tried to simplify it, everything in this case so loading wise you can see i have no force you can apply gravity load here based on the weights and densities and then run the step one and then you can go and do this second step where you have the temperature changes boundary condition wise the pipe was fixed at both ends, so you can see it's fixed on this side in all directions and rotations and also it is fixed on this side as well as you see here so that's what i have done the only important part now is how i'm going to define the temperature changes so the easiest way in this case is you use the predefined field manager and you can create it by pressing the create button select a temperature and then you can specify you can select the whole geometry and when you select the whole geometry you get an option which is something like this and in this case i have given a temperature which is the difference between the initial and the final temperature to be 80 degrees or 80 kelvin if you can say in, in kelvin scales it should not be that different and then i go to the mesh i mesh my part and then i go to my job and i submit once i submit i can see everything works fine and my structure starts to have upheaval buckling and this is only due to temperature as you can see because which is called which is the main cause of uh, effective longitudinal or effective axial force and in the previous example as i told you i used a direct value there and it was coming from analytical relationships coming from basic solid mechanics and using dnbgl equation so so you see it is working fine and stress is increasing but what you see here is it keeps on going because i haven't given any limit for for the temperature so you can see my temperatures are very unrealistic but you you may see that when i define the pre 
when I use the predefined temperature, it was zero because I haven't given any initial temperature to the pipeline. You can assign that again there in the same area. And then you can see my temperature is increasing as I want. And then about 80, 88 here. So it should have stopped somewhere here in this time. But it keeps on going because I gave, I ask it to go up to 100 increments or so. So, so you see it keeps on going like that. But, but you can see you can easily simulate this. And Abacus does a very good job in this sense as well. So I hope this helps and thank you for watching and I hope other students and people who are working in the same area will find it useful. So thank you very much for watching.